Enjoy all. Welcome back to Beanie's Hobbies. And in this video, we've got another print review for you guys. And this time round, we're going to be looking at the King Rune KP3. Which is this massive beast right here. <laughs> and now this is what I would class as a budget budgery. Yep, I could budgery. Uh, a budget entry printer. Uh, it's very, very it's a very small form factor printer. Print size we have 180 by 180 by 180. So it's not a tiny tiny build plate on like some of the other printers I've had. Um, so we've got a fair size build plate. Um, build quality wise, it's actually quite good. There's been mixed reviews online about this, but when it comes to people's reviews, I don't tend to pay a lot of attention to them. Um, I buy the machines myself. I'll buy the machine myself. I will then test it out and then I will give my honest review. Um, but so far, this little machine has been performing quite well. Uh, it's not given me any issues. And it does actually come with several quite cool features. Um, now, you may notice we do have linear guide rails on the X axis and on the Z axis, which I haven't actually had yet on any of my printers. So, this is actually quite a nice upgrade. It's incredibly smooth. Now, print quality wise, I've had sort of mixed results. A uh, little sort of slight tweaking in the slicing software, and I think you'd get this. You'd get this thing printing spot on. For me, though, it's just a parts printer, and I don't need the finest detailing in the world, so it really doesn't bother me. Um, I haven't really printed too much with it, but on the SD card that came with the printer. We have this little chappy. Now is it focusing? There we go. We have this little chappy. And he's classed as an extruder guard, he is. Because he's actually designed to fit on your extruder. I had him on there for a bit. It's quite cool, but you can see quality wise, it's actually not bad and even down on my you can down there you can see he's even got some chain mail <laughs> which is actually printed quite well I mean it's not perfect there's a couple of odd places where there's a little tiny bit of under extrusion but and they've got a little tiny bit of over extrusion but I've seen a lot worse from uh, a lot more expensive printers like I say this thing you can pick up off at Aliexpress you catch it at the right time about 120 pounds so it's not a massively expensive printer next now this isn't for me guys honestly I swear <laughs> this is the wife's she's got a bit of a Barbie fetish she likes to collect vintage Barbie so just knocked her off a little oversized Barbie keychain let me see again here nice and smooth only one issue I had on this, I don't know if the camera's even going to pick it up. You can see just down this bottom edge, it's where I had the build plate set. 
it's set a little bit high so it squidged it out a bit too much a bit of string there but that is another very acceptable print and lastly I printed a trio of little puppy dogs and yet again a little tiny tiny bit of over extrusion there on the head there's no gaps there's no holes uh, this is a very, to me, this is a very acceptable piece. A little bit here, you can just sand down. But to me, that is very, very good. Now, one thing to note with this printer, I shall show you, doesn't actually come with a spool holder as such. But what i done, you see up here, tapped out the top of this rail and just added my own spool holder. For ease, it does actually come with a pair of rollers for your filament, but all I found is the, fil the roller filament kept falling over. So I just grabbed myself a spool holder. The ho there's already two holes in the top of this, so I just tapped the holes and just bolted it on. Now, we do have, I'll get you guys in a little bit closer do have a full metal extruder then this is a direct drive printer now to me this looks like it's a direct copy of the Corality CR off the one off the CR10S or CR10 sorry so direct drive full metal extruder now we do have let's move you again sorry about the camera wobble down here we do have a very small touch screen move you guys around a bit more and we can see we have an SD micro SD card port we have a USB port and then we have the power in port now to power the machine on you'll have to turn it on via a separate power brick now it doesn't actually come this stand that I just knocked up on one of my other printers if not you just have to lay this thing down on its side but just for ease, I just printed that so it could stand up right next to it. Now, the only one gripe about this machine, you can probably already hear it, are these fans. Now, they've gone to the extent of installing silent stepper drivers in this thing. So all the movements are whisper quiet. But then you've got these fans that make so much noise, it's just... Ugh. Something needs to be done about these fans is because once they're both spinning up because you've got two Go on for your hot end uh, One for your hot end. Sorry It blows directly onto your nozzle and then you obviously got another one here For your hot end cooler and they just once they're both spinning God damn this thing is so loud. It's unbelievable So that is my only one gripe now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take you guys off this tripod so we can have a closer look at this touch screen and get in there without too much glare now once you fire the printer on this is what screen you're greeted with so you've got the preheat option you can obviously home home all so as you can hear whisper quiet apart from them fans no noise at all whatsoever now for a little budget printer to have silent stepper drivers I think that is just it's just fantastic now also in here we have got aided leveling so there's no self leveling but it will actually aid you where it will move itself to the point so you can just put your piece of paper underneath and level your four corners do have nice fair sized leveling knobs as well so nice and easy to get hold of um, now obviously we can move we can move all the axes independently of each other settings we have a few more options control your fan speed language disable your steppers um, resume your prints and obviously printing itself and then you'll have all your files that you can print 
nice handy, easy to use touchscreen. Only one issue I have with this location is when you are actually leveling the bed, you'll sometimes just sort of catch your hand on the screen, which will then move the nozzle off to where you don't want it. But apart from that, really is a cracking little machine, apart from these fans. Now it doesn't weigh anything at all, it is just, it's so light, and it doesn't take up hardly any space. Um, the only other th thing is, the cable that comes out of the bottom of the power supply, which actually plugs in the printer, isn't very long, so you're kind of limited as to where you can actually stand your power supply. But apart from that, this is a cracking little budget machine. It really is a cracking machine. So if you guys are looking for a small form factor 3D printer, um, for a parts printer, or if you guys are just starting out and you don't want to go and invest hundreds and hundreds of pounds in a printer, or you just want something to learn on, then this will be a great little printer for you. Now let's just have a quick look at the build plate. Now we do have textured magnetic build plate. Magnetic, the magnet is, it's not the strongest magnet in the world, but I haven't had it come unstuck. Let me see there, we've got 180 by 180, by 180. <laughs> that just sticks there in place. Like I said, I've had no problems with it moving or coming unstuck. Once it's on, it's on. But this really is a fantastic machine. Like I say, the prints have been good. I haven't had any major, major issues. I mean, if I could get my camera, you can even see in there his little chain mail. I say this was just a test print that was actually on the card that come with the machine. No, there isn't actually any files on Cura for this machine. Uh, it does come with its own slicing, well, King Rune's own slicing software, which is a very, very old version of Cura. Um, what you can do is just install that, then just copy across um, your parameters from that into Cura, a new version of Cura, and use that. Or just for these test prints and just testing purposes, I've just been using their own slicing software, so easy to use, uh, especially if you're new or starting out in the 3D printing world. Um, very, very simple to use. It's, you know, it really doesn't take much brain power at all to use it, so you don't need to be worrying or thinking, oh God, this 3D printing is so difficult. Because with a printer like this, with the firmware, this is not the firmware, sorry, the slicing software that is included, um, it's very, very easy to get started. Uh, it does come with a user manual, which does go through quite a lot, so that's there to help you as well. So yeah, guys, if you're looking for a little small form factor printer that's good and that's reliable, and that prints really, really incredibly well, give the King Rune KP3 a look. Like I say, I class this as a budget entry printer. Um, Brilliant parts printer, if you don't have to go fire up your big printer, fire this little thing up just to knock off some small little tiny parts. I mean, like I say, these, this isn't really what I call a small tiny part, but it printed it absolutely fine. I like say build plate wise, it's a little bit smaller than the, uh, the Ender, the Ender 3, but it's not that much smaller, and it, I'd say it prints just as well as an Ender 3. Um, and you've got better features than the Ender 3, for example, touch screen. I mean, this thing would, because it's direct drive, would quite happily print in TPU, um, PETG. It might struggle a bit with ABS, but like I say, everything else it would print just fine with. So yeah, give it a look, guys. I don't think you'd be disappointed with this one. Anyway, that's it for me from this one for waffling on, guys. We have got a lot more print reviews coming up because I'm kind of stacked out with printers at the moment. This should be one to work out for, guys. This printer is one of the printers you've never heard of, but it's absolutely fantastic. Now we've got the A20M down here, G-Tech that I've just been working on. <coughs> we've got 
two trees. And we've got a flying bear. I've got another one inside that's running. And don't forget, guys, we have got a thousand subscriber giveaway coming up shortly. Printer is all here ready to go. Whoop, sneak peek. So yeah, keep subscribing and thank you everybody for subscribing. We're, we're doing really well. So yeah, stay tuned guys. More reviews to come. Hope everybody's staying safe. Hope everybody had a good new year. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheerio!